Okay, so um, this is our presentation. Um, our company was called Jones R Us. Um, Justin Pickrell, Dear Lewis, um, Leslie Masangi, and Samuel Nabaku. Um, the way to get started is to quit talking and begin doing. Um, I just thought that was nice, so I added that in. Um, this was our trends and company's annual total revenues. Um, as you can see, years five through six were constant. So year seven through eight, we had a, a slight rise. Um, our year nine, we had a big increase by over $200,000. Um, with years 10 to 11, a slight, a slight drop and slight rise, a slight increase, excuse me. And then with years 12 through 15, we had, um, they were increased. Our earnings per share, um, our years five through eight, there was a slight rise on our EPS. Year nine, we had a drop in the EPS. Um, years 10 through 11, there was another slight rise. And then years 13 through 15, there were consistent in the, a consistent rise in our EPS. As far as our role return on investment, our years five through eight were constant with slight growth. Um, year nine had about a 15% drop in the role. Um, year 10 was slight rise um, with year 11 as also. And then years 12 through 15 um, were about a 20% drop in the return of investment. Or excuse me, not return on investment, return on equity investment, excuse me. Um, and our stock price, um, our years five through eight were steady. We had a steady rise in the stock price. Our year eight was more than a $50 jump. Um, year nine dropped back down by $50. Um, years 10 and 11 had increase in our stock price. And years 12 through 15, 12 had a drop with 13 back on the rise. And then, um, constant, well, a decrease in year 15. Our uh, credit rating in year five was a slight increase. Uh, year six to seven was no change. Years eight to 10 was slight rise. Uh, years 11 through 15, we rose to A plus and it remained constant. Uh, as far as our image rating, years five through eight, we kind of rose up and dropped a little bit. Year nine, we increased. Uh, years 10 to 11, we decreased. And then 12 through 15, we increased and then decreased. Um, our strategic, strategic vision at Drones R Us was we've been trying to grow and expand to be the leader of the pack by year 14, um, not just in revenue, but in stock price as well. And we want to have control over our competitors. Uh, for the next two years, we predict realistic, attainable targets and EPS, ROE, and credit rating, as well as our image rating. For our stock price, target for year 16 is $140.64, and for year 17, it's $156.11. Uh, our competitive strategy for the camera sales is image quality, the display screen, extra performance features, our editing and sharing capabilities, and our number of photo models or modes. Image quality is very important to us, and we want to provide the best possible quality to our customers. We are working to provide extra performance features as well. We believe that the more you can do with our one camera, the more you will be willing to spend to have one of our cameras. Our strategy has evolved over the years through our image rating and credit rating. It has also evolved through the geogra geographic regions. Although we have seen a drop in our market share through, throughout the geographic regions, it will increase over time with our strategy to increase market shares by offering longer warranty periods and discounted prices. Our competitive strategy for UAV drones are similar to the AC camera sales. We use top-notch battery packs, 
along with obstacle sensors. Uh, our company prediction uh, strategy is customer oriented approach to product development and strategy. So for the AC camera predictions, we made a lot of investments, making sure that we are having the right product with quality. And also we are selling what we have received as requests and demands. So on this slide, you can see that uh, we did a lot of, of changes, just making sure that we, we, we are producing uh, as many camera as we, we could or can with a good quality. So we did a 719 unit in total. We also had some 281 workstation. We invest, we did an, a big investment of 59, uh, 5172,000 uh, into facility. We employ other workers to make sure that we have enough people to, to produce the, the camera. Those people are uh, 772 workers and it cost us 299, uh, 45 per unit to produce the cameras. The profit was about 195,000 and the benefit was about 42%. We received demand and requests for 79, uh, sorry, seven, 71, 719, sorry, thousand. And we were able to provide them. And we had uh, a market share at 15.3%. Uh, For the UAV productions, we had on total 180,000 180, units in total and 101 workstation, 55,523, um, I think money, and 4004 workstation focusing on the predictions of the UAV. We also invest on workers and we we paid like uh, 29,455 40, per year to every worker and it cost us at about one 1,464. 34 to produce each each unique and operation operating profit margin was about 18.3 percent and we had 15.4 percent market share in this market the financial strategy that we implement helped us met our financial goal, which was making profits at a certain percentage while maintaining a good and reasonable level of investment. One thing that I, I need to point here is that for us to grow our company, we, we, we have the, we make sure that we are ma making the right investments, making sure that we're gonna gain profit and reach our goal. Because when there is no investment, there is no profit. So for both of them, the AC uh, camera and the UAV financial statement, AC camera revenue that we have it was about for 471 for the AV drone revenue was about 384 of uh, 472 the total revenue for for all of uh, for the four uh, continent that we we produce and of camera and 
UVA, it was about 856. Uh, the cost of goods that we were able to sell was the same price as the total revenue. The delivery cost was about 40, 42,536. The mar marketing cost was about 37,050. The administration administrative expenses was, was about 9,183. Oper operating profits was 294,560 and the net profit was about Can you still hear me, Samuel? Yes, I can hear you. Samuel, the next slides are for you. Can you hear us, Samuel? Sorry, I was talking to myself the whole time. I'm, I'm, I really apologize about that. Um, but to continue the presentation, the stronger competitors, our strongest competitors were Be Brave, Adventure Photo Tech, Click Tech, as well as Elios, Elios the Future. Excuse me if I'm mispronouncing that. Um, the investor score for Be Brave was 107. The best in industry score for Be Brave was 85. And the GTD, the overall GTD score for Be Brave was or score for stock price, which is based on um, the most recent year stock price sales compared to the most recent year's investors expected stock price target. Um, all these teams ranged or ranked scores above us. And I believe is due to their market shares and their, um, as well as their promotions, which could lead into other things such as the warranty periods and their, well, their reach across different continents as well. Um, next slide, please, to competitive actions. Yeah, uh, competitive actions we would be looking to do in order to revamp our company's name to have us above to be ranking would be our advertising budget. Um, we need to invest more marketing or more sale or more numbers into our advertising so we can get better brand awareness so we can be known. Companies or investors wouldn't want to be part of a company that's not well that's not well branded per se for example the online presence which could be from the website design it needs to pass the eye test for people to want to feel to purchase any of our products which um also explains our um why our market shares and why our investor scores are not as high as the other companies for example sales promotions is another thing that would be a necessity in order for us to gain the traction we would need to move our company to the next level, which would be, for example, increasing our warranty periods that Justin had spoke about earlier. People would be interested in being part of a company or buying a product from a company that they know they can go back if any issues were to arise or if they know they could get any bonuses for said product or, you know, so we feel that if we take these actions and put them towards a positive 
and hopeful outcome, those results, those will yield us good results towards the next coming years for our company.